What's going on? Instagram, live, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, all the places. I will post this video when it's said and done. It's Dr. Lee here, the persistence coach coming to you from uh, from San Diego. And uh, today I wanted to chat uh, really quickly about uh, direction and how you find direction how you take how you take steps how do you be intentional with your time um and what that looks like you know what does that what does that look like in your life to be intentional with every single day and to be living the life that you want what does that what does that look like and so i think the the number one, I think the number one thing that holds many people up, living their vision or doing what they want to do in life, I think the number one thing is uh, lack of a plan. They don't know how to do it. They don't know where to start. They can't figure it out. Many people have a vision, something that they want to do. And they find themselves not making momentum daily toward it. And they find themselves in a ruck, rut or stuck um, because they don't have a plan. All right. So this is probably the number one thing uh, that I do as a, as a coach. Uh, you guys know I, I, I do coaching and I train online. Uh, personal development training and entrepreneurial kind of training for young young startup folks but the number one thing that I'm able to do is when you have an additional person that's in your life and you not just you but you have an additional person that's in your life that's in the conversation that can look at things objectively and say okay if you know I were you in this situation you know have you considered doing x y and z that is probably the one thing that I do as a coach that is the most rewarding is, you know, helping people to line out a plan. But, you know, number two, just giving people hope that, hey, with these steps, you can you can get what you want in life. All right. So um, I'm excited to to help people when I have that opportunity. But my question for you is, is there a dream or a vision, something that you wanted to do with your life that you haven't made progress toward or that you're not making progress toward? And then I would challenge you, I would, I would, I would challenge you to ask yourself the question, well, why not? Why am I not making progress toward that goal? Why have I not accomplished it? Why am I not moving toward it? And in that question lies the answer. So in that question lies, you know, what you need to do to make sure that's a possibility for you. Because here, listen, and this is this is something that is huge. We we as people have to always believe that what we want is possible. We have to always hold the vision. We have to continue to remind ourselves that something is possible because life will tell you that it's not possible. Life will tell you it's going to take too long. Life will tell you it's going to be really hard. Life will tell you all of the things that are in your way. That's what life is going to tell you on a consistent basis. It's going to tell you day in and day out why what you want to do is going to be difficult. That's what life does. And that's how life, that is how life rips dreams from a lot of people because if life or if if you can get someone to now say something isn't possible for themselves if you can get someone to now agree that you know action isn't worth it because i'm not going to get a result now you have just ripped the dream from them okay you ripped hope from them you ripped ripped the light from them right so it's going to be hard to get that person to take action if you rip it from them so a lot of people use the example, and I was talking to my wife about this, but a lot of people use the example and say, oh my gosh, I was so excited when I was a kid. I was so excited about what I was going to be able to do with my life. I had so much vision and dream and aspiration when I was younger. What in the world happened as I got an adult? And I'm going to tell you 
right here what has happened. What happens is that we stop making momentum. We stop doing the thing. So here's an example. Like say when you were a kid, you, you want to go to the NBA, you want to play basketball. Nine times out of ten, if you're a kid and you're still holding that dream, you are playing basketball every day. Listen to what I'm telling you. This is very basic, but it is critical. Critical. Listen to me, the example. If you're a kid and you say, oh, I want to go to the NBA, nine times out of ten, you are playing basketball on a daily basis. You are participating in that very thing. Hey, maybe you're just at the high school level. Maybe you're just at the YMCA. Maybe you're just in the backyard playing. But listen, if you're a kid, you were still making momentum. So I'm going to challenge you. What was the vision you had as a kid? I guarantee you were making momentum in that area. You were doing that thing. You were holding that vision. You were looking for opportunities to do just that. And that is what happens when you are an adult. So what happens when you're an adult is you stop taking action. You stop making momentum. You stop doing this the very thing that you, you know, used to dream that you wanted to do. You start to believe the story that it's not possible. You start to believe the story, I missed my time. You start to believe some sort of lie that makes you quit. All right, now, here is where my gift and my value add to the world comes in. I am an encourager of your dream. So I am an encourager to help you hold on to your vision and not let it go. That is my job in the world. That is my job. My job is to protect that vision that God has given you and encourage you to continue to pursue just that. And that's why a lot of people, you know, I would encourage you, that's why a lot of people have decided to uh, work with other folks, come alongside other folks, whether that be coaches, mentors, accountability partners, however you want to set it up. But, you know, that is when, when you introduce somebody else into the mix, right, They can you can bounce ideas off of, right? This is when you're able to take a stagnant moment in your life or maybe a rut and come out of that rut with a plan, an action plan, come out of that rut with an idea is when you have now, you know, sought the counsel of many people in an area. All right, guys. So, um, I'm going to be opening up my coaching practice this month. Um, and I'm going to be setting up calls with people, uh, 30 minute calls to go through, knock out your idea give you, add you some value, encourage you a little bit and tell you, hey, this is what I would do if I were you in that position. Uh, so keep a lookout. I'm going to open up uh, the practice, set up some calls. I'm going to be doing the call a couple days a week. And, um, you know, after the call, I'm going to give you opportunity to come in, come into the coaching practice um, and see if, see if Persist Coaching and Persist Institute is going to be right for you. But guys, I, I hope uh, that I added some value today. I hope that I got you to ask some questions of yourself um, and challenge you to, 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 to take action, make momentum towards your dream every single day. God bless. Godspeed. Till next time, keep pressing.